Hello students, today we'll do a revision in simple linear equations. Okay, there are certain rules to follow for linear equation. Okay, so we'll go through those rules. These are rules that you have used while solving these simple equations. So let's go through these rules. Now, an equation remains unchanged if we add the same number to both sides of the equation. Okay, now so you know in an equation you have a left hand side and a right hand side. If you add the same number to both sides of an equation, the equation remains unchanged. If you subtract the same number from both sides of the equation, the equation remains unchanged. Again, an equation remains unchanged if we multiply both sides of the equation by the same number. And Again, an equation remains unchanged if we divide both sides of the equation by the same non-zero number. You might be using this way of doing this method. You might be using to solve linear equations in your class if your teacher has taught you this method. Otherwise, we have a simpler method, which is the transposition method, which is called also called the shortcut method. Transposing. Okay, so in this case, in an equation, a positive sign which is transposed to the other side becomes negative. Then a negative sign which is transposed to the other side becomes positive. If a term in multiplication is transposed to the other side, it becomes division. And if a term in division is transposed to the other side, it becomes multiplication. So this is the transposition method. So you have the other rules where you add and subtract, multiply and divide the same number on both sides. Or you have this other method, the transposition method. So, so let's begin some revision. So here we have a plus 5 is equal to 8. Now what I'm going to do is for a few sums, I'm going to do both methods. So you can follow the method that your teacher has been teaching you in class. Okay, so for a few sums, let's do both methods. So let me do... The first method that we learned here, so here a plus 5 is equal to 8, isn't it? So we, uh, the rule we have learned is that if you add or subtract the same number on both sides, it's going to be the same. The equation will not change. Now here we want to know the value of a. Solving an equation means finding the value of the unknown quantity. And here the unknown quantity is a. So to find the value of a, we need to remove this plus 5. And how can we remove this plus 5 from the left hand side? By minusing 5 from it, isn't it? Plus 5 minus 5 becomes 0. So I am going to leave only a here. I want only a here, isn't it? So for that, plus 5 minus 5. If I do this, then this plus 5 minus 5 will become 0 and this will remain only as a. So here I have subtracted 5 on the left hand side. That means I have to subtract 5 on the right hand side also. So this was the rule that we learned. You subtract the same number from both sides, minus 5 on the left hand side, minus 5 on the right hand side. Your equation remains the same. So let's solve this now. So here a plus 5 minus 5 will become 0. So it's simply a. And on the other side we have 8 minus 5 which is 3. So we have solved this equation we have solved for a, a is equal to 3. Now let's do the transposition method. a plus 5 is equal to 8. According to the transposition method, when we transpose a positive sign from the left hand side to the right, it will become a, a negative sign. So again, since we are solving for a, we are going to leave only a here. On the right hand side, we have a, 8. Now we are going to transpose plus 5 to the right hand side it will become minus 5 so 8 minus 5 so again we have found the value of a a is equal to 3 so we've got the answer so whichever method you use your answer will be the same okay so you can see which method you have been taught in school and accordingly you can do it so next question x minus 9 is equal to 3 so we want only x here so we're going to keep x here. Now minus 9, I have to remove. I can remove if I add 9. Minus 9 plus 9. So I've written plus 9. That means I should write plus 9 on the right hand side too. So whatever you add on the left hand side, you must add on the right hand side too. Only then the equation will remain unchanged. So here, now 
plus 9 minus 9 will get cancelled because it's equal to 0. So I have x left here and on the other side 3 plus 9 is 12. So I have solved for x. I have found the value of x to be 12. Now let's try the transposition method. So x minus 9 equals 3. Now I need the value of x. So I'm going to transpose minus 9 to the right hand side. It will become plus 9. So x is equal to 3 plus 9 which is 12. So we have solved for x. Question 3. Here we have 3x is equal to 15. 3x means 3 into x, isn't it? So this is 3 into x is equal to 15. Now I need only x and 3 is multiplication. So if I have to remove the 3, I need to divide it by 3. So this will be 3 by 3 into x is equal to 15. And if I divide the left hand side by 3, I have to divide the right hand side also by 3. So 3 by 3 will get cancelled. It's equal to 1. 1 into x is simply x. So here we have x is equal to, now on the right hand side, 3 5s are 15. So x is equal to 5. So we have solved for x. We have found the value of x to be 5. Now let's do the transposition method. So 3x is equal to 15. That means 3 into x is equal to 15. That means x is equal to 15 and I'm transposing this 3 which is multiplication to the right hand side so it will become division 15 divided by 3 so let's divide that so this is equal to 15 divided by 3 is 3 fives are 15 so we have solved for x here x is equal to 5 so we've done both the methods. Now let's do question 4. Question 4 says y by 6 is equal to 9. So let's write that down. y, so this is y by 6 is equal to 9. So we need only y and 6 is division. So if we do multiplication of 6, both will get cancelled. So y by 6 into 6. Okay. So that we are removing 6, we are trying to remove uh, 6 by cancelling it. That's why we are multiplying it by 6, by 6. So on the right hand side also, we need to multiply by 6. So here this 6 and this 6 will get cancelled and we'll have only y left here. And on the right hand side, 9 6s are 54. So we have solved for y. y is equal to 54. Now on the other side, uh, we are going to do the transposition method. So the question here is y by 6 is equal to 9. So to find the value of y, we say 9 into 6 because we have transposed 6 which is division to the right hand side. It's become multiplication. So now we have y is equal to 9 6 is a 54. So we have solved for y. y is equal to 54. So here in these four sums, what we did is we tried both the methods. So whichever method you are following in school, you can practice more of that. Now let's go on to question 5. Now from here onwards, I'm going to use the transposition method. Okay, so let's begin with this. Now 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. That means 3x is equal to 0. And I'm transposing minus 6 to the right hand side. It will become plus 6. So 0 plus 6 which is 3x is equal to 0 plus 6 is 6. So now I'm going to solve for x. So that will become 6 divided by 3. How did it become divided? Here it is multiplication. 3x is multiplication. So I transposed it to the right hand side. So multiplication has now become division. Now let's cancel this. 3 2s are 6. So I have found my answer. I have used the transposition method. I found the value of x. I have solved for x. x is equal to 2. Next question. Now here we have minus 5a is equal to 40. So now I'm going to keep only a here and I'm going to transpose minus 5 to the other side. Right hand side remains the same. 
minus 5 is multiplication here. Minus 5 into A means, uh, A means into A, it's multiplication. So when I transpose it to the right hand side, it becomes division. So it becomes by minus 5. So I'm going to find the value of A now. So here it is plus, isn't it? This sign is understood to be plus. Now plus into minus is minus. So first I worked on the signs. Now I can work on the numbers. 5 eighths are 40. So I have minus 8. So I have found the value of A. A is equal to minus 8. Question 7. 4.2A equals 25.2. So now we have to find the value of A. So let's begin by writing 4.2A means 4.2 into A is equal to 25.2. So now to find the value of A, we say 25.2 divided by 4.2. That's because we have transposed this 4.2 from the left hand side to the right. So here it is on the left hand side it is multiplication. When it comes to the right side it becomes division. Now let's divide 25.2 by 4.2. Now this is division of decimals. Now when you divide decimals your divisor should be a whole number. So that means 4.2 should become 42. So how does it become 42? Only if the point moves one place to the right. And the point can move one place to the right only when we multiply this by 10 because 10 has one zero and multiplication the point moves to the right. So now this number 4.2 has become 42. Now when you multiply the denominator by 10 you have to multiply the numerator also by 10. So when you multiply by 10 the point moves again one place to the right so this becomes 252. So now we have 252 divided by 42. So let's divide 252 by 42. Now let's try 42 into 6. 6 twos are 12, carry 1. 6 fours are 24 plus 1, 25. So we've got 252. 42 into 6 is 252 minus remainder is 0. So we have found the value of A. A is equal to 6. So we have solved for A. Question 8. N divided by 8 is equal to minus 5.6. So we have to find the value of N. So let me write the question. N by 8 equals minus 5.6. So to find the value of n, we're going to leave n on the left hand side, minus 5.6 on the right hand side as it is. Let's transpose 8, which is division on the left hand side, to the right hand side. So now from division, it changes to multiplication. So this is 5.6 into 8, minus 5.6 into 8. So let's multiply that 5.6 into 8. Ignore the point and multiply 56 into 8. 8 6 are 48, carry 4. 8 5 are 40, plus 4, 44. Now go back to your question and check the decimal places. There is one decimal place in the question, so there should be one in your answer also. So the point comes here. So now your quest answer is 44.8. So here the value of n is minus we have a minus sign minus 44.8 so we have solved for n n is equal to minus 44.8 question 9 a by 18 equals 1 2 by 9 so we have to solve for a let's copy that question first so a by 18 equals 1 2 by 9 let's convert and write so 9 2, 9 ones are 9 plus 2, 11 by 9. So that is 11 by 9. Now let's solve for A. So for that we leave A on the left hand side, on the right hand side 11 by 9 as it is. Now we are going to transpose 18 which is division on the left hand side to the right hand side. So that becomes multiplication. 11 by 9 into 18. 
Can we cancel 9 and 18? Yes. So 9 twos are 18 and 11 twos are 22. So we have solved for A. A is equal to 22. So this is our final answer. Question 10. A minus 5 equals minus 2, 1 by 4. Again, we have to solve for A. So here, A, is e A minus 5 is equal to minus. Now let's convert this. 4 twos are 8 plus 1, 9. So that's minus 9 by 4. So to solve for A, we're going to leave A on the left hand side as it is. On the right, we have minus 9 by 4. Now we're going to transpose this minus 5 to the right hand side. That will become plus 5. So now let's work this out. Minus 9 by 4 plus 5. This becomes addition of fractions. So my denominator is my LCM. So 4 into what will give us 4? 4? 4 into 1 is 4. So minus 9 into 1 is minus 9. 1, 4 is 4. So 5 fours are 20 plus 20. Now signs are different. Isn't it minus 9 and plus 20? So put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 20 minus 9 is 11. 11 by 4. So let's convert this to a mixed number. Say your tables are 4 and get a number close to 11. 4 twos are 8. What's remaining? 9, 10, 11. 3 is remaining. 2 3 by 4. So we've got the value of A. A is equal to 2, 3 by 4. So we have solved our equation. So we'll stop with that for now children. In our next video, we will continue with some more revision. Thank you.